Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, we are going to be recreating this cool old piece of mining technology. I did a previous video doing a little bit of restoration on this sucker. So, that's the uh, acetylene lamp. This is what they used to use in the mines. But I kind of wanted to make my own version of it. Basically an exact recreation, but out of some modern materials. So what I have here, derp a dirt. So basically that's going to be the screw-on chamber. This will hold our carbide down here. And then I'm going to turn this little piece, this lip, off on the lathe so I can jam that in there, get a hole for water to drip through, and then cap that on top with an adjustment screw. And then we're going to have our acetylene coming out the side uh, somewhere in here. But that should hopefully be pretty much it. It might end up being a, a bit more involved, but that's the idea. Build our own crude acetylene lamp. Should be pretty cool, so let's see if we can get it to work. Well, the first order of business, just to turn this lip off. So let's see if I can reverse chuck it here in the lathe. This thing is a supreme piece of crap. <laughs> So, the lip is gone. Good. I'll just sand that and smooth it out a little bit. All right, let's do a little test fit, make sure it goes in there. Let's see. Pretty snug, but that'll work. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna drill a hole kind of on the side of the water cap for, I'll, I'll probably just end up using a little rubber stopper for this. And then in the center, we'll have the adjustment screw. So right now I'll make the water hole That'll also allow the trapped air in here to vent. See it. Heard that noise once or twice in my life. Oh yeah. All right, just gonna start with a teeny little drill bit just to get the hole started. Walk it up a little bit. I'm a little close to the wall there, so I'm gonna go in at an angle. That way the stopper doesn't run into the wall. Is gonna use an old construction adhesive tube cap that I'll jam in there. Drilled a couple holes in it to vent it. All right, that works pretty well. Sweet. All right, so I think now I'm just gonna glue this sucker on about halfway there. Maybe I'll epoxy it in just so I don't have to wait all that time for the cement to cure. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Little epoxy and PVC never hurt anyone. Look at that. Oh, a little premature. Huh, that hardener is pretty, pretty liquid. Used to most, most hardeners being a bit thicker. Not the optimal mixing implement, but it's what I got. The trick with epoxy is mixing the living shit out of it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Now this doesn't have to be a super airtight or pressure rated bond here. Really just going for a good, good concentric asphyxiation. Not the kind you do in the bedroom, but uh, the other kind. All right, that's about all the stick out I want there. That'll give enough to grab down here and that'll be our water tank. So wait. So after that cures, I'll throw it on the lathe bore the uh, proper sized hole for a quarter 20 all the way through nice and centered and at that point I'll tap them both out put a little notch in the screw so we can adjust the water drip rate and that should work nicely at least in theory we'll see in practice so I got a bit of all thread here that is long enough to poke through plenty long enough and I'm just gonna weld a little T end to it so we can adjust it. Just a fair bit of warning here, I'm pretty renowned for being a tremendously shitty welder. Not so much with MIG, I got that one down, but like AVE said, once you once you do MIG, it kind of fucks you up for the other ones. I should have learned on ARC or TIG. Alright. Whew, that's ugly. There we go. We got fusion. Got her welded up. Has the attractiveness of a failed abortion, but 
it <laughs> it'll hold. Still pretty fucking hot. Not to mention it is hotter than Satan's taint down here. Middle August heat spell. Well, early August heat spell. It is brutal. All right, so this has had some time to cure. Just gonna chuck it up in the extended jaws here. Hopefully, we can get enough grab on her. Keep it. That yeah, looks pretty good. And just gonna poke it with the center drill. Get a good mark so our bit doesn't wander. All right, that's plenty to get her going. And we're just gonna hit it with a number seven drill bit. Nice slow speed so we don't melt the PVC. So we got our two holes and I'm just gonna give her a little tap now. So we'll tap the back out. Hopefully the threads align. I didn't quite think of that. I probably should have went with a taper drip configuration instead. That would have been a little better, but also more of a pain in the ass to actually produce. Hopefully that'll work. All right, that actually lines up pretty nicely. A bit of resistance, but that'll probably work its way out over time as the PVC kind of conforms. So we're just gonna notch, notch this sucker a little bit so that the water can actually drip through down into the reaction tank here. <laughs> and we should have a functioning acetylene generator. Drill a hole. Fucking done! So just made a little flat spot there with a bench grinder. And we'll give this a quick test to make sure it it's, develops the right kind of drip. So we'll walk it up a pretty good distance to where I think water shouldn't be able to get past. Put a bit in there. And then we'll back it out and see if it drips. Oh, she's a dripping. That looks about right. Sweet. Okay. Just dump my water everywhere, why don't I? Old underwear. Good for more than leaving skid marks in. I think it's time to glue this sucker up. Ah, it's pretty sweet looking. I like that. Well, my PVC cement got an erection and it's way too hard to use. Totally solidified, so I'm back to the epoxy. Which will be fine. Nice airtight, strong bond. It's not like this is going to be under high pressure of any sort. Should be pretty minimal. Just going to take that off. Epoxy are on. Got some squeeze out. Beautiful. All right. It's pretty sweet looking little water tank. I like it. Got the cap there. Pretty close to the, the real thing. <laughs> Except once we add the ass, it's going to be a lot bigger. So I'm just going to glue that sucker on now. All right. That is... We got an epoxy seam all the way around, so that is totally sealed once uh, once it cures. Also, I have no idea of the names of the actual <laughs> materials I got. I think everything's one and a half inch. I think this is a just called a plug. I want to say. Uh, obviously, you have your male threaded, female threaded plug in the center that you can see there, and then a one and a half inch end cap. But yeah, those might not be the technical names for them, but yeah, you can figure it out. You're all smart dudes. Well, I just ran over to the home of the Sombrero Showdown, you know, big orange store, and got a quarter inch by eight inch hex bushing and a little square plug. So I'm going to tap in here for the big bushing, and then this will thread into that, and we're going to drill that sucker out so that we get a tiny little orifice. Now, I'm pretty perplexed by what to do for a reflector. I did want to use this old paint can lid, but one, we're not going to be at the right height for that. I'd need to 
have this standing off the ground another four inches maybe to clear and the other issue is it's flat so it's not going to be a very good reflective surface so I might just end up using a, the bottom of a soda can since it's already parabolic and I can polish it up pretty nicely so I'm going to punch that hole in again like I did on the last video just center punch kind of a circle around it just displace a bit of the brass towards the hole now one of you guys actually left a comment on the last video saying it's a number 80 drill bit that was used for this orifice size got the tiniest little hole there uh, she ain't gonna focus on that come on you sunny beach all right they ain't gonna focus but got a really really probably not even visible on camera tiny hole left there so <laughs> to the eye it looks like a number 80 maybe who knows so now that our little nozzle is pretty much ready to go I'm just gonna mark this where I'm gonna drill the uh, hole for this and tap it and that'll be where the acetylene actually comes out of so drill this sucker tap it and then maybe slap the bottom of a soda can on there I think we'll be in pretty good shape should have a working acetylene lamp and one thing I did want to mention I'm gonna pack this whole thing with pretty pretty decent amount of steel wool to help minimize the chance of flashback because if there is a, an acetylene air mix in here and the flame were to flash back in here it would basically grenade on you and the steel wool will help absorb the heat out of the flame front and prevent a flashback like that got her on the drill press just gonna start with a smaller drill bit and then go up to the 7 16 because this is a quarter inch 18 fitting damn this PVC sticky give it the, the trio of fixation more resistant to getting drilled than my wife. Ho oh, ho! Made it in. Forceful entry. And I'm going to throw the tap in the chuck here just so I can keep it nice and square. Going in dry, it's not too happy. Add a little lube. Alright, moment of truth. Will she fit? Beautiful. Nice. That'll be a good fit. We'll just put some dope around there, maybe maybe silicone it in or something. Just so it's a totally tight seal. No acetylene gas can escape. Should have left a little bit more tap exposed to make it a tighter tighter thread, but it's what we got. Epoxy or silicone. Or just any sealant will fix that. Alright, now for the reflector. I think what I'm going to do is just use the bottom of a soda can and fit it, sandwich it between these two parts and we'll have a bit of a reflector, not as big as I'd like, but we're kind of limited on space here. Just snag this off the bottom of a Coke can and I'm going to try to give that a quick polish. Well, if you're one of those survival nuts, you can do it with a, a Hershey bar. <laughs> it's not a mirror, but it's it's pretty reflective, probably good enough. We're not going to get a ton of light on that reflector anyway because I mean that's just going to be basically sitting in there a little bit just going to hold that on there with a towel because if this spins probably slice the shit out of my hands okay yeah half inch will get it on there nicely and that way we're it actually kind of screws on there that's pretty sweet that works perfectly so now we just slap this sucker in and we're good to test it. Pretty cool. Let's see if she works now. All right, that should be good. Got the carbide in there. Throw the top on. <laughs> and let's see if our carbide lamp works. This is pretty wild. Squirt a little of the universal solvent in there. Gonna throw some pucker goggles on because this might blow up in my face. All right, moment of truth. Ha! 
<laughs> it kind of works. Pretty fucking cool. The flame's a little, a little bit bigger than I'd like to see. Might have to center punch that again. Knock it in a little bit. That might do it. Let's see now. Holy crap, it's perfect. <laughs> That's it. That is money. Yeah, it's like a... Almost two little veins are coming out and combining. It's like a little spotlight. You can actually... That's really cool. That might be just as good as a commercial one. <laughs> that is so freaking awesome. Holy shit. That's like a little spotlight. Look at that. That is so cool. No soot to the flame. Nice clean burn. That's really neat. We fucking did it, guys. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was a really fun little project to slap together. And, uh, you know, you get a working carbide lamp for maybe 10, maybe 15 bucks in parts. This is absolutely awesome. So, it's definitely something anyone can slap together. So if you like what you see, please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure you hit that little dingleberry next to the subscribe so you can actually get notified when I post stuff, because YouTube sucks. And if you like what you see on the page enough that you want to donate, I have a Patreon page set up so you can go there and, you know, make a small donation, help buy me a beer, <laughs> and or parts. I would also like to get a camera made sometime in this century. It's a pain in the ass developing the film with the silver nitrate and chopping them together. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great one.